Using Newton's method, approximate the x value of the x-intercept or root of f of x equals natural log x divided by x. The fifth iteration is x sub five equals 1.2. Calculate x sub six and round to the hundredths place value. Newton's method uses tangent lines to approximate zeros of a function, and we use the equation of a tangent line to derive the formula for Newton's method, shown here on the right, where x sub n plus one is equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. In order to use Newton's method, we need to find f prime of x. So let's begin there. We are given f of x equals natural log of x divided by x. In order to find f prime of x, we have to apply the quotient rule, where the denominator of the derivative is equal to the square of the denominator of the original function, which gives us a square of x or x squared. And then the numerator is the denominator of x times the derivative of the numerator, which is the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x, and then minus the numerator of natural log x times the derivative of the denominator, which is the derivative of x, which is equal to one. Simplifying, we have f prime of x is equal to the quantity one minus natural log x divided by x squared. And now because we're looking for x sub six, looking at our formula, notice that means n is equal to five since five plus one is six, and therefore x sub six is equal to x sub five minus f of x sub five divided by f prime of x sub five. And we know x sub five is equal to 1.2, and therefore x sub six is equal to 1.2 minus f of 1.2 divided by f prime of 1.2. And now I'll show how we can use desmos.com to quickly determine f of 1.2, f prime of 1.2, as well as x sub six, which we'll also record in the table below. Actually, let's go ahead and start the table now, where to find x sub six, we need x sub five, so we'll start with n equals five, and x sub five is 1.2, and now we'll determine f of 1.2, f prime of 1.2, and then the final calculation to determine x sub six. So going to desmos.com, if we move our cursor over to the right until we see double arrows, we can click, hold, and drag this to the right to show more of the calculation screen. And now we'll enter f of x in cell one. f of x is equal to natural log x, divided by x. This is really all we need to do now. We need to determine f of 1.2 and f prime of 1.2. From here we can simply enter f of 1.2. To four decimal places we have 0 0.1519. And then to determine f prime of 1.2 we simply enter f prime of 1.2. We actually don't have to find the derivative function to determine derivative function values using desmos.com. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.5678. Let's go back and record this in our table. Again, f of 1.2 is approximately 0 0.1519, and f prime of 1.2 is approximately 0 0.5678. And now we can determine x sub six by determining 1.2 minus the quotient of f of 1.2 and f prime of 1.2. Let's go back and do this using Desmos. We can simply go down to cell four and enter 1.2 minus f of 1.2 divided by f prime of 1.2. And I'll record this to four decimal places. We have approximately 0 0.9324. And we are told to round to the hundreds place value, so for our final answer, we will say x sub six is approximately 0 0.93. Before we go, I do wanna show how we can show more steps using Desmos, and then we'll also take a look at a graph to show what's actually happening. So first, going back to Desmos, I'm gonna go ahead and clear cells two through four by clicking on the x on the right. I'll enter the derivative function in cell two as f prime of x equals the quantity one minus natural log x divided by x squared. And that's just for reference. 
And again, to find x sub six, we had 1.2 minus, and then we had f of 1.2 divided by f prime of 1.2, where f of 1.2 would really be natural log of 1.2 divided by 1.2. So there is f of 1.2. We're gonna divide this by f prime of 1.2, which is the quantity one minus natural log of 1.2, divided by the square of 1.2. And I just want to show we do get the same result. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.9324, which we had in the table. Or to two decimal places, we have x sub six is approximately 0 0.93. So either way, we get the correct answer. And before we go, let's look at a graph. Because x sub five is 1.2, the six iteration, or x sub six, is the x-intercept of the tangent line to the curve at x equals 1.2. So looking at the graph, notice how this point here on the right is the point on the original function when x is equal to 1.2, and this red line is a tangent line at that point, and notice how the x-intercept of the tangent line is approximately 0 0.93, which we found for x sub six using the formula. I hope you found this helpful.